right, so please tell us about your family life and uh, please start from the beginning. Well, from the beginning, um, man, it was, uh, it was pretty fuzzy. Um, I was born in 1989. My mother was actually handcuffed to the bed. She had spent six months in prison prior to me being born into this world. Um, I was premature and my mother was a crack and heroin addict at the time. Growing up, it was, uh, it was pretty tough, a lot of physical and emotional abuse. I was told that I wouldn't amount to anything. Uh, I met my father when I was 13 years old, and I was told by my mother the next day that the only reason that he agreed to meet me was because she agreed to have sex with him. So this is just a picture of uh, how broken and how messed up you know, and dysfunctional my uh, family life was. At the, at the age of 17, I was uh, apprehended. I was locked up and had a felony warrant out for my arrest in Phoenix, Arizona, and I was extradited um, up here. Uh, went to a youth camp, a boys' youth camp, for the remainder of uh, my age until I turned 18. Um, once I got out, it was right back. It was right back to the life, uh, guns, money, drugs, um, and really uh, didn't have anybody to, to look up to or to, to, to really speak into my life. The emotional and physical difficulties of living on the streets um, at times was very unbearable. Um, I felt like I had no hope in this world. I felt like I was the scum of the earth. I felt like I was lower than, inferior to uh, working class citizens. Sometimes it, physically I wouldn't even want to get up and start off my day. Um, I would just be so sick, dope sick, malnourished, uh, not enough food. Um, and it just really felt just, just overall just hopeless. Um, I had no hope, I felt worthless inside. I felt like there was no reason for me to live or no reason for me to go on. I gotta be black man because I'm black. I'm just saying, what's really going on? Why are you guys taking pictures of my element? You know what I mean? And I said, no, I appreciate it. I'm just going to turn this off. Yeah. the Titus house when eventually you know I came to that crossroads and decided you know I'm gonna get clean. I eventually got a hold of Tim and I came out to a Bible study and I realized you know this was a good place and it seemed like a good fit for me. Eventually I moved in and uh, the Titus house has, has helped me a lot. It's given me a, a safe place, a safe environment with uh, brothers who are like-minded like myself and trying to go on and stay on that right path. Titus House has enabled me to move forward in the right direction. It's given me the chance to, to save up, save up my money. It's given me the chance to stay clean. There's one thing I can tell a user today or a user that's watching right now is that there is hope. And that hole you've been trying to fill, that hole that, that's in your heart that you try to fill with drugs and the things of this world cannot compare to the love of God. You can change. 
and there is light at the end of the tunnel. 